right, today is October 14th and we're getting started with our Trello training today. Nikki is in Kansas. Welcome. Just getting started using Trello. Um, I would really be, it would really be helpful before I jump in to know where everybody else is too, like as far as like your experience level with Trello, because if all of you are really experienced and I don't want to do too much of the basics, I want to make sure that we hit you where you are. So it sounds like, uh, let's see, Maryland, you've used it and um, South Africa, welcome from South Africa. So happy to have you here. Um, medium experience on Trello. Uh, Linda says she's just getting started in the UK. Uh, medium experience, okay, perfect. So we've kind of have like, I wouldn't say necessarily any experts, but people who have some familiarity with it, some that are just barely getting started as well. So that helps me know where to, where to focus today. So maybe what I'll, I'll kind of start with the vision of why I created these and what they're intended to do so that you can get a better sense of how they might support you in your business. So as a backstory, the reason that I even began doing this is because I used to be an assistant to Elise Shedeby, as you know, is a, a triple triple diamond. And I actually spoke with Patrick and they're going to hit the trying for the next big rank after sometime next year, which is really fun. But I used to be their assistant a decade ago. And then I started working for Callie Wilson as a, who's a presidential diamond. And I did, I did that for nine years and <clears throat> actually not, not, not a decade ago. It was like 12 years ago, but I worked for Patrick Hayes. Anyway, so last couple of years, I've been running my own business where I basically work and support with, with builders like you that are in doTERRA or other businesses, and I help them to find and train their assistants. But since a lot of my clients come to me working in doTERRA, one of their biggest stressors was that they just needed a, a process to support their team, no matter what their rank was, whether they were just getting started as a new consultant or they were a presidential diamond, everybody seemed to have this common common thing that they just needed to know how do I support these people? How do I make sure no one is lost? And so that's why I created these funnels and I'll kind of walk you through how they work and to help solve some questions for you too. But my other thought was this, that I want it to be duplicable. We always hear in doTERRA that don't start to doing something in your business if it's not something that you think your leaders could also take over after you know, you're not supporting them as much anymore. So that's why I also created these is that these are easy to pass down. They're free from me, free from Trello, like they're just free all around and they're really customizable so that you can make them your own. Okay, so let's just get started and I'll show you, I'll start with the prospect funnel. This is a fun one. All right, can you see my Trello account over here? Yeah, okay, perfect, okay. All right, so this is, I'm gonna delete some of these, these placeholder people here. Now don't go to overwhelm because everything here is customizable. If this, if this isn't your process, then you can remove everything. If I'm just gonna archive that list. I was showing somebody else this the other night too. So the main idea is I have this template card. This is what is going to be the, the card for the people that you bring into your funnel. Now think of the prospect funnel as your names list. Anybody that you want to share oils with, or maybe you're at the grocery store and you we are looking at your click up right now. Oh, you are. Okay. For some reason, it's not sharing my, not sharing my other screen. Hang on. Oh, my screen's changed on me. I have two different screens. Okay. Now can you see my Trello? Okay. Perfect. Okay. So think of this as your names list. This is definitely like your, where you would give either your new builders, like, hey, here's where you can put in all of the people you wanna share oils with, or if you're at the grocery store and you want a place where you won't forget that person's contact information. So this, it's very, very simple that the card, the contact card is already preloaded with a bunch of things that you'd probably want that person to experience to be successful in doTERRA um, or just to, to lead them through the next steps. This is where you can type in their contact information, maybe the things that they said were their health concerns. So you don't forget like, oh yeah, I met Amanda at the grocery store and she said that she was struggling with respiratory things. And I told her I was gonna share these things. And that way it's all in one spot. So what we're gonna do to add Amanda to our board is you're gonna, you can click here, add a card, but that won't bring in the template. If you wanna bring in the template, you need to click this little square and then change it to be Amanda. Now Amanda is in your Trello board and you can see it brought in everything from the template and you can now edit it and everything is just drag and drop. So the idea is we're just moving her along the process and whatever column she's in is the step that she needs next. And so the first thing is let's make an initial contact. If you met her at the grocery store, that part is already done. But I do include resources 
scripts, templates, and everything that you'll find in the Back to Basics and a few other places that are really helpful. So even if the Back to Basics isn't your jam and that's not the system you're following, then that's fine. Like you can change this up completely so that it fits your process and how you want to support your customers. But it is preloaded with some starter resources to get you going. So now that she's had her initial contact, now she needs some things to be shipped. I have included a whole bunch of resources on things you may want to consider shipping to them. I've also included um, some things you can do in the follow-up, like some scripts that you can ask them when once they've had a great experience with the oils. Now the next step is we want to remind them to have their one-on-one -on -one or invite them to have the one-on-one. -on -one with you and then you're going to teach a class well you can see this is really really simple but let's say that you do something different between here and here and this process isn't exactly how you do things then you're going to scroll over here on the other um, end of the list and click add another list and we'll just call this step whatever we're just going to call this step something if i can type step two and we're going to bring it you just drag it drag it wherever you want it to be and if that's the that's what you want it to, to where you want it to live you can say what you that step is all about what is going to be happening there and then you can add your own little resource card with your own scripts and you can type in whatever you want here it's totally blank and so you can fill it in with your own things so the idea is this needs to be customizable and how you operate because i don't want to be just another one of those like you know, tools or platforms out there that nobody feels like they can use because what happens is you see so-and-so using a tool and think, oh, well, because they're doing it successfully, I should be able to do it successfully too. And then you get in it and it's not working for you because it's not customizable. And so I, it's really important that you work within your strengths and how you operate best. So I'm just gonna delete that, archive that list. And again, you can delete anything here too. So if this whole step is not one that you, that you want to use, click these three little dots and click archive list and it's gone. So everything here, change it to be how you want it to, to look. I will say that before you drop in a whole bunch of I would recommend getting your funnel, like how you want it to be, like what your steps are actually going to take place and then update your contact card as well. So what steps do you want to have happen during pre-enrollment? Do you not do, do you not invite them to a class or one-on-one? -on -one? If not, then let's just delete that step entirely. And you can click the three little dots and delete it. Or this whole section, if you want to delete this whole section for pre-enrollment, you can delete that too. So kind of get your funnel figured out first and then bring start bringing people in. And with the, I'll show you in the customer funnel how to bring how to bring your customers in, but your prospects will probably be kind of one at a time. If you do have a, like a CSV file, there's each board gets a free superpower and they're called power-ups. So up here on the top right-hand corner, when you click show menu, click left, and then you'll click on power-ups. Now my disclaimer here is don't get too lost in the power-ups because it's, you, it's a, it can be a time warp getting in here, but if you're, you're thinking, oh, I wish Trello could do this, come in the power-ups and see if there's a thing that makes it do the thing you want it to do, because this integrates with a lot of other tools and platforms and gives it another boost, another action that it can possibly do for you. But one that I really like, let's see, I think there's this import one. I actually haven't tried this one yet, but I've I've seen others have success with it, where you can do a smart import from Excel or CSV. So if you have a bunch of contacts already in a CSV or Excel file, and you don't want to manually drop them into your boards, I think this might be like $20 a year to, to do this. So you could just pay it one time, get everybody in, and then just manually upkeep it as you bring in new customers rather than having to import all the time. Or $20 a year really is not that bad, but it would save you time if you want to have a quick way to drop people in. Okay, so that's the power-ups. Now the next thing that Amanda needs is she probably needs to have a, a class, right? She needs to have a class and it, or attend a class. So I've included all the things from, from Back to Basics, the essential oils made easy and some tutorials. And I have um, the spot here to give gifts because we know that in order for people to be successful and to hopefully book classes from classes, you want to incentivize them in the moment that they're excited and say, hey, we would love to have you book a or have you have let us teach your friends about these awesome this awesome opportunity. Um, and here are some gifts that we would be giving if you if you invite people to attend. 
And I want to give a disclaimer to here that you see these little red sections here that if you have an assistant, these are all the things they can do to support you. If you don't have an assistant, then just click on the pencil and click archive. Again, everything can be moved, but if you do have an assistant or you want one in the future, hopefully that will give you some ideas of things that you can start delegating later on. Because here's the thing that I see a lot of people do, especially in doTERRA is a lot of us are mommies to start with, and then we start building this business and we've been doing it on our own for 10 years. And then by the time we hit like diamond or presidential diamond, we haven't figured out how to delegate. So now we're buried and ready to walk away from our business. And so I don't want that to happen to you. Even if you're not ready to hire for another couple of years, be thinking now what you would delegate to someone later so that you can grow sustainably. Because once you hit that diamond mark, it's too late. You are now too late <laughs> in hiring an assistant and it's your you're, you're going to feel overwhelmed and stressed. In fact, and I've heard Alicia Shadow say that, that before too, that by that time you hit diamond, you should have an assistant. And so this is to help you be thinking about, even when you're just a little bitty consultant and you're just getting started, how are you going to scale sustainably in the future? Again, even if you're not ready right away. Okay, so then the next thing is to schedule that follow up. And there's a lot of things that you can use in tandem with Trello. But this Trello, by the way, does not automate a lot of these features or processes. You still have to manually do a lot of them. That's why it's free. So for example, it's not going to send out the text message or send out the email for you. You still need to copy the verbiage and then go stick it in your email or in your text message platform. But it's all here in one place so that you can see who needs you next. The next thing I'll say is some people will start using these and then stop using them. And in order for them to be successful, you really need to schedule time in your you can be in here at least once a week and just look at your boards and say, who needs me next and start moving people along. If you will um, get a little squirrely and have a hard time remembering, gosh, how long has Amanda been in this column needing a follow up for um, not showing up to the class? Then what you can do is the moment you've had the class set a, a due date on when you want to make sure you follow up with her by. I want to make sure I follow up with her by next Friday, save. And then now I will get alerted that if she's been in this column later than next Friday, it's, it's going to have a little alert on it. And you'll get an email that says um, you have a due date for Amanda um, on the 22nd. <laughs> and so that will help keep you organized. And you can even check it off right here when it's been done. And then you move her over here and you can change the deadline as she moves along the process. So now the next step, I want to enroll her by next Friday. And you, so you can just kind of keep moving things along that way. Okay, I'm gonna take take her off, take that, that deadline off. Okay, so now here's where, where things get really exciting, right? Now they're ready, hopefully to enroll and they become a customer. I really recommend, I've had a lot of, um, a lot of my customers who, or a lot of my clients that will not, that will just say, here's my, my, my link generator, go and roll. And then they try to do all this follow-up with them and they, the person is lost. So I really recommend that you enroll in, you know, like on person in Zoom or over the phone or actually in person. But if you just send them your link, which is fine, they won't have that one on one interaction with you because here's what you can do if you do it one on one. You can say, hey, okay, now that we're getting your, your account set up, let's also get your wellness consult schedule scheduled. Let's pull out our calendars and choose a date right now. So done. That's already scheduled. And then the next thing you want to do is make sure that they have. Um, the, I'm going to talk you through this and we get in the customer funnel, but we're going to help support them in their, their LRP. And hopefully they would be comfortable giving you their con their, their login information so you can help them with that process, but you can ask that right here as you're helping to set it up. Okay. So now that she is ready to be, she's enrolled and she's ready to be moved over to the customer board, just click the little pencil button and click move and choose the template that you want her to go to. And because I just have so many templates, I'm just going to open up my customer board so that we can go faster. But she would drop right here and she would, she, her card would show up right here in the customer funnel. And then we're just going to move her along. You won't have to add a new card, but I'm just going to do it for, for speed so that you can all see what I'm talking about. 
So now here again, you need to decide what you want your customers to experience from day one. Do you want them to get something in the mail? Do you want them to get a welcome email? What are you? What do you want them to have happen? And even if it works for you just to get a whiteboard, like I want them to have a welcome email within seven days. I want them to get into my, my Facebook group within a month or whatever it is, like write down your process. And then again, make sure that the customer card reflects that, that she, her information, she, her, the cards all reflect those things. So now we have this, this welcome, welcome stuff. And I've given you some ideas again, just because it's here doesn't mean like, oh my gosh, this is what everybody else is doing. And I have to do everything. And now I'm overwhelmed. Just choose the things that feel like they resonate with you and discard the rest. So here's some ideas of things you can give in your welcome package. And I've also given you a welcome email template that you can start from, that it's totally free. You can edit it, just giving you, giving you a landing spot. Some people like to even break up this email into several different emails. So it's like one email a week for the next five weeks, and it's like bite-sized chunks. So whatever you want to do, just figure out what that process looks like. Okay, now she's over here and she needs that lifestyle overview, aka wellness consult. And I've given you all the resources to make this happen. And actually, I should be making sure... Um, Okay, if you have any questions along the way, please totally just stop me and say, hey, that did not make sense. Because if you have the questions, somebody else probably does too. And I want to make sure that we get your questions answered. Okay. So now Amanda, she, we, hopefully you have some sort of continuing education set up, whether that's with your upline or with something that you offer as a recurring thing that they can tap into to learn more and to boost their knowledge of essential oils. Um, maybe ship prizes for the continuing ed. And I actually have a shipping tracker that's really helpful too, but here's where we get kind of exciting. So the LRP support that I was talking about before, Betty Torres, she has the highest retention rate in doTERRA. And it, this is why, because she does this process. What she does back when she enrolls them, you know, on the, on the prospect side of things, when she gets them enrolled, she, she says, Hey, I want to make sure that you can get the, that I'm supporting you along the way. I know that it takes some time to change your lifestyle to a natural one. And I want to be here along the way to support you. So how would you feel about me helping you with your LRP for the next nine months? The first three months, I'll do it for you. The, the next three months, I will, we'll do it together. And the last three months, I'll just remind you before it processes, because I know it takes time to get used to things. And then in that moment, she can give you your, her login information, say, that would be great. Here's my login information. And that would be wonderful. So here's what you do. Months one through three, here's the little text message that you would send them. It essentially just says, says, hey, Amanda, your monthly order is about to process. And I know that you said you wanted breathe deep blue and whatever, whatever, whatever. Just wanted to confirm that's still what you want this month because it's going to process in five days. And I want to get it updated before it processes. And she says, yep, that would be great. Go ahead and get it ordered. You're going to do that for three months for them. Then the next three months, you're going to say, hey, Amanda, it looks like your LRP is your, your monthly order is going to process in, a, in, in five days or so. Do you have time to get on a quick Zoom where I can show you how to, play, to place your own order and update it each month? Because it will just keep the same order from the previous month if we, if we don't show you how to do this. And so then she's like, great, let's get on a call. You show her how to do it. And you do that for three months. Then the last three months, it's, hey, Amanda, just a reminder that your, your monthly order is going to process on whatever date it's going to process make sure you go in and update it before, before you get the same things you ordered last month. Um, and so it's very, very simple and elegant. And you might be like, wow, what if I had, I enroll 10 people in a month and I'm doing this with so many people, how to remember where they are. And it starts to get overwhelming. What she does is she schedules their LRPs to only be on, on two days of the month. It's like the fifth and the 10th. So that she's always, she'll, she'll, so she's always helping people on those two days, but it's not stretched out for the whole month. And if you use something like project broadcast, you can schedule these text messages in your, or like some sort of texting platform that will schedule those things out for you. So is that helpful? I know that, um, okay, so Yusef says, I feel a little bit lost and overwhelmed with all the things to do. What can you suggest? So I would say, don't feel like you have to do everything here because that's sort of where some people get lost is they say, oh my goodness, do I have to do that LRP support in order to have a successful business? No, start with something that works with for you. If the only thing that you can commit to is I can send a welcome email, I'm going to get them scheduled for a wellness consult. I'm not even going to ship prizes or anything. I'm going to get them into my community. 
and I'm going to get them tapped into my uplines oil camp or whatever it is. Like, that's great. That's a great starter. Like you, you don't need all the things up and going to feel like this needs to be successful for you. And then slowly add in next steps as you feel like you're ready for them. Because if you try to do a whole business overhaul all at once, you are for sure going to be overwhelmed and it's going to feel unsustainable for you. So bring in one new piece at a time. And then when you feel like you're ready for the next, then bring in the next one. I hope that that helps you, Seth. I'm not sure if that answered your questions. And um, Linda says, I tried to get the templates, but haven't received email download. So I would recommend going to your spam folder. Occasionally those automated emails will go, go into those spam folder. But um, if you still haven't seen it, email my assistant at support at meganloyd.org. And I'll let, um, I'll let my assistant Jennifer here type that in so that you can, you can reach out to us and we'll make sure that you get that automated email um, so that you have all the templates. And yeah, yeah, that will be good. Because somehow we got, it, we got your email because you requested the templates. And so I don't think you, I don't know how, how you would have received the link to join this call without it. So I'll have to figure out if there's something wrong with my system. But thank you for letting me know. Okay, Yusuf says, yes, thank you. Where is a good place to start? Can we have access to the full training or just um, the assistant? Um, I'm not quite sure um, what your question is, Yusuf. Do you want to unmute yourself? And I'll stop sharing for a second. Yes, yes, hi, Megan, hi. thank you. Um, yeah, um, uh, since I'm, I started with, with, with Karen uh, last week, uh, but uh, still there's some issues with the language, with the traductions. I think she's not getting all the all the full idea. So that's that's making me a little bit confusing with, with what I have to do or where to start. So I would love to, if, if there is a chance that I have access to all the training that she's she's having so that I can help her in any doubt and any questions she, ha she has with the language. Yeah, yeah. So the the things that she has, so he's, ref he, Yusuf is one of my clients in Mexico where I helped him, I'm helping him train his assistant. And so his question is regarding the, the training assistant program that we have. And so Yusuf, I'll connect with you afterwards and I'll get your you access to that section of the training so that you can see what I'm teaching her. But ultimately, it comes down to you tell, you and her deciding what you want your process to be, because my training will sort of talk you through what I'm telling you right now, how, how it functions and what the basic idea is. But ultimately, you need to sit down and decide together, what do you want your process to be? And then what is the trigger? What will you do and what will your assistant do? And how do they know when that next step is, is supposed, to, supposed to happen? And so, so yes, I can give you access to that section of the training, but you'll probably find it most helpful to, um, again, just come up, decide what your process is together. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. I think that's that's where, where we are stuck because we don't know where to start to do my process. So I think she's not getting the ideas right. And uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I, it's not, I'm just, I'm not concerned. I'm just stressed about because I think I'm not, I'm not uh, moving forward. <laughs> so I really want to move forward in this and, uh, yeah, so, okay, um, if I can have access to that part and I will uh, uh, talk with Karen so that we can uh, see uh, what is the starting point. Perfect. And for Thank everybody, you. and for everybody here, I'd give the same advice. Like if your biggest stressor is supporting your existing customer, start with the customer board. If your biggest stressor is bringing in new prospects and leading them to enrollment, start with the prospect board. So it really is up to you where you um, where you want to begin, because I think it's different for everybody. Um, Rosemary says, um, what is the Google Drive resources? So with when you click into each different resource tab, let's say I want to make sure I get you the right page again. Okay, can you see my Trello? Okay, um, when you click into it, you might see like a link to a Google, Do Google Drive or a link to a Google document or things like that. That's just linking to other resources that I've placed within the, the platform. That's not necessarily like a, a Google Drive full of all of the things that are here. It's just, just click on the links within each of the resources and you might find additional helps, but I don't have a Google Drive link in every resource. Did that answer your question, Rosemary? Yes, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so now if the, you're, you're doing or not doing the LRP support, I at least recommend that you, you check in with your customers at three, six, and 11 and a half months at the very minimum. And what that could look like is very simple. I've given you the text message script to send to them on each of those, those months, because what happens, the worst part, right, is when they enroll and 
then they haven't heard from you in eight months. And suddenly you're like, hey, we want to invite you to a class. And they're like, I haven't heard from you in eight months. And it's hard to re reignite that relationship again. So I, you want to make sure that there's still some sort of interaction that you're having with your customers. And especially at the 11 and a half month mark, because you've all probably experienced when um, that 12 month, that year mark hits after their enrollment and their next order is $25 more than they thought it would be because the, the account renews and they didn't know that that was coming. So you want to remind them like, this is actually really exciting. It means that you get continued access to wholesale pricing. It's totally gonna to be exciting and you get a free peppermint. So it's like a win, win, win. You're, you know, kind of just need to let them know before it happens because if they know going into it, then they're fine. But if they find out afterwards, they're upset. And so th these are just, these are some text messages that you can send to your customers. Okay. I highly recommend that you have a business made easy class scheduled once a month that during your regular classes where you're teaching essential oils, you give like a, just a little teaser on the business opportunity. And then you say, if you'd like to learn more, join us for our next business made easy class where you'll go into more detail. And that's where you can really start bringing in potential builders who want to know more about the opportunity. And it's okay if only like one, two, three people attend that, that class, because these are gonna be a smaller subset of people and it can be more intimate. Um, or you can partner with a cross line or upline and you're all kind of doing it together. And I have included some of the back to basics resources here for that. Now let's say that she has decided she wants to build, then you're all, you're gonna do the same thing and click that little pencil and you're going to move her to the builder funnel. <clears throat> so any questions on that? I know I'm kind of going through them fairly quickly, but um, I'm, my team and I are here to answer if you have any questions, but I just want you to get the overall vision of how this could work for your business and give you something to, to start off, like a launching pad where you can go and customize them for yourself. So let's look at the builder funnel. This one is particularly fun. Um, think of it as it's split up into two different sections. Basically here and over is before they've decided to build. And then here and over is they've decided to build and you're giving them some regular, um, regular support. So let's say Susan is our, is our customer or our builder, potential builder. She needs probably a, an invite to build, right? So how does that conversation go? Well, here's a bunch of scripts and resources that you can start with. I would never just read a script to somebody on the phone. Please don't ever do that. Read through it and decide what's authentic to you and then come up with your own, maybe some bullet points of topics, but don't read a script to someone have an actual conversation. Now, after you've had that invite to build, it's, it's recommended you send like an email with some resources. And I've already drafted the email for you. The email is already done. Emily Pfeiffer, a diamond in doTERRA, actually, this is the email that the, the, these are the videos that she sends to people after she has had that initial conversation. And you'll notice that it's a peppering in of all the things. First, what are essential oils? Um, a little bit about the, the sourcing, uh, winter green in Nepal, because we want to get them connected to the mission and the cause. Um, and a few other things, a very little teaser on the business opportunity and the, and how and what that could look like, and the idea of service, not sales. So this sort of gives them an overall feeling of what could be, and you have them go watch those, and then you follow up with them and say, how did that go? Um, did you, what did you think about those, um, those videos I sent? And this is a text message that you can actually just copy and paste and send them. And now you say, great, well, it sounds like you found a lot of value from that. Let's get on another call and talk some more or, or send them another email. And so here's the other email that goes in a little bit more, like a little bit more of the, of the compensation plan um, and the law of the harvest and a few other things. And then by then, hopefully they have a good understanding of what it could look like to partner with you and doTERRA. And still do the, ne the next follow-up, say, hey, how, did you get a chance to watch those videos? They were awesome, weren't they? What were your thoughts? And then hopefully they've, they're ready to, to potentially start building with you. Then you start this regular, this weekly process for about six to 12 weeks where you're hand holding them and giving them some really juicy resources to support them in their business. Because too many people will just say, great, you want to do the business. I'm going to drop you into oil games and you're just gonna figure out how to do it on your own. And they don't have any one-on-one -on -one interaction because this is a relationship business. I think oil games is wonderful. I just think that in the beginning, they need some interaction with you as their, their partner and then to get them excited and encouraged and have that accountability. 
and then maybe drop them into oil games if you feel like that's a useful resource for you. But if you're like, what do I do each of those weeks? What do I actually, how does that conversation go? I've already outlined it for you. So here's the little checklist that you can use for every single week. Obviously they need to know about setting their LRP to 100 PV. They probably should set up their direct deposit form so they can get paid from doTERRA and a few other things. And you can go through, if you're like, ah, I don't really do this one thing, but I do this, then you can add an item and add in your process. If you don't like one of the ones that's there, just click the three little dots and delete it. So everything here is meant to operate the way that you operate. And it's supposed to be very simple. Um, have I not been sharing my screen this whole time? Oh, I have. Okay. I just got this notification that says you are now sharing your screen. I was like, well, I hope I have been. <laughs> so anyway, the whole, the whole um, several weeks, I have the outline for you. So you get them on a Zoom call or show up in person and you have your, your, your outlines or your bullet points already ready so that you don't have to really think about it. And you can see like, okay, Susan is here and this is the step that she needs. And you can, again, can set your own deadlines and say, I, we're going to meet with her by next Wednesday and, or whatever that looks like, just so that it's all, it's all up to stuff. Um, and just move her along in, all, in the whole process. And the whole idea, of course, is that you are teaching them how to share, how to teach, how to sample, and then you teach a class for them. And then you co-teach a class and then they teach it while you watch. You're kind of like setting them up for success so that they, they're they not relying on you to teach all of their classes forever. Like you might be doing a few to begin with, of course, to help them get comfortable, but we wanna help them soar, right? We wanna help them feel confident on their own. Yeah, Mona. All right, so it's really hard to read all the fine print on the screen, but um, I wanna make sure that I'm following along. So you've basically got a prospect board, a customer board and then a builder board. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go. Um, so like what I'm seeing on this screen, this is the builder board, but it's like there are 12 weeks, I think you said, mm -hmm. of tasks to do. And so for every, let's say every prospect that I put in, there's going to be a board similar to this, not the builder board, but the prospect board. Every builder I put in, so does it automatically put this in on Trello or do I have to do something fancy to get that in there? To get your contacts in there, you mean? No, after the contacts are in, does does this like let's say I put in a builder as a contact? Does this twelve link twelve week template I guess automatically load for that particular builder? So you're you're going to have multiple people on one board. So you this is actually going to look like you have four people in week two and two people in week five, and so you're essentially you can see where everyone is in your funnel. Oh. And so this isn't going to be like one builder has one, you know, the whole board to themselves. You're going to have so go, people. go back over to where Susan is underneath that one. Uh huh. All right. So if I had six people that I needed to do the same thing with, I would just add their card there. Uh huh. Yep. So it would look okay. like this, like you have like multiple people all over the place. So you can see, so you'd essentially walk, you show up to, to your office that day, whenever you're doing your, your work and you say, okay, so Dan has been in week three um, for, for a bit now. Um, let's make sure we get him moving over to week four pretty promptly. And if you're like, how long has Dan been in week three? Again, make sure that you set a deadline to say, I need to meet with him by next Wednesday so that he has all the things that he needs. And then you just keep moving them along the funnel. So you're going to have multiple people in each of your funnels. Did that help? I feel so smart. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That's a great question. I'm really glad that you asked that because um, for I'm sure that everybody else is probably thinking similar questions. So every question is a good question. So that's kind of the, those are the three primary funnels. And, um, but there are a couple of other ones that I created that are also really helpful just in overall organization. One of my favorites is the shipping tracker. And it seems very simple. But the idea is that anytime that you ship something, have you ever had that, that this happened where you go to the post office and 
you you get the the, the little the little receipt that shows the tracking number, and then somebody reaches out to you a few weeks later and says, "Hey, where are my samples?" And you said, "Well, I shipped them a few weeks ago. They should be to you. Let me go see if I can find that old receipt." And then you go look, you pull up the tracking number, but you can't find the receipt, or it's hard to find the tracking number, whatever it is, and you have this big mess, um, and you forget who you actually ship things to and when they should arrive by. So this is where you're going to load all the things that you're going to ship. So I've again I've created this card. So click create a card from template and Dan maybe needs some samples. So now Dan, you're going to come in here and I've already activated a, a power up on this particular board that's called track package. You're going to click track package and you're going to type in the tracking number and choose the carrier. You'll notice that they are all international. They're not just here in the US. They have Germany and they have DHL and um, I'm sure, you know, I'm sure that they have, have, I don't know, you can go kind of New Zealand, they have things all over the world. Um, and then once you um, click track, I don't know if this is actually USPS. This is a better example. I don't know what that tracking number was, but this is what it will show up. Um, usually load the whole tracking, tracking thing, but you can click on it and you can see where it is, which is really nice. Um, usually, sometimes it will actually populate within the card itself, but either way, you can see right on the card, oh, it's been delivered, and it stores all the information right there in the card so that you don't have to wonder where it is. Um, and you can immediately click, and it will open up the tracking information for that particular um that particular person. And so you'd essentially, you know, they're here, they need to be shipped if they're in this column. Over here means you've shipped them and transit and delivered. Um, and this is too confusing to have shipped and in transit, you can get rid of that one too. Again, come up with your own process and figure out what works for you, but this is a really elegant way to organize all the things that you're shipping. Um, any questions on the shipping tracker? Okay. Uh, oh, good, Robin. I'm so happy. <laughs> I want to be this organized. Yes. And this is, this is a, hopefully this is simple. Like I don't want people to get overwhelmed by the tech of this or anything. And I want to, um, let's all breathe just for a second, because I know that those who are type A and really kind of that organized detailed mindset are probably looking at this and like, I've been wanting this. This is what I've been dreaming of. Those who are relationship builders and very not techie are probably looking at this and be like, wow, that would be so nice. Can I actually make this work for me? And so if you are on that side of things, I would highly recommend um, uh, the, what I've actually done for another team just recently. We, we did a whole um, training with her team. So we actually set up four coaching calls where we actually spent one full coaching call talking about the prospect board in detail. And I helped them set it up and come up with their own process and everything so that it was specific to them. It was a process they felt comfortable with. They had their own assignments to go get it, you know, to do some things, but we helped them to really set that up. Then the next call we did the customer board and really got nerdy about that. Then the builder board and got nerdy about that. And then we invited her whole team to join last night we trained them on the process we had just created specifically for them. And so if that's something that you would find value in, um, I'm happy to do that with you as well. My coaching calls are $100 an hour. And so um, for her, we since we did four calls, it was $400. $400. If you only want one call, then that's fine. But I just want you to know that there are resources for you since this is a free tool, free everything. Like um, I can't, can't do everything for free, but I can help you if you need help. Okay, somebody said, Mona said, what else can you um, help me get organized with my within my sole, solopreneur biz? Actually, I have one other board and this is one of my favorite ones. I've saved it for last because this is, um, this is also a good one. So this is called your project board. And I don't want you to get too overwhelmed with everything here, but the main idea is that you need to have a brain dump section, an in queue section, and maybe like a working on it now and a done section. So what this looks like, if you're like me, where right when you hit the pillow at night, your mind starts churning with all the things that you need to be doing in your business for tomorrow, or even in your life, like I need to schedule this doctor's appointment. I need to help my kid with his project, whatever it is. I have, I love to have a brain dump section just to purge all those thoughts. And so I say, um, schedule doctor's app, um, um, I need to send so-and-so that link, whatever it is. And you can just write down all of your to-dos so that when you are, are 
when you wake up the next day, like, okay, these are the things I actually need to take action on today. Like, this is what's the priority. Okay, now I'm actually working on it. We're getting it done. Okay, now it's done. And you can just, it's like the greatest thing, just drag and drop. And Trello has a phone app. So if you're like being always on the go and, and you're, you don't want to forget different tasks or, you know, lose that contact information from so-and-so, then download the phone app as well because it's free. And then you can actually do all of this on your phone as well. So I have loaded it with some ideas of some things that you can, that would be recommended as like some, you know, initial projects that you can get started with. And I'm going to remove some of these. Um, I've also um, filled it in with some ideas of daily, weekly, and monthly tasks that many, many doTERRA leaders like to do, but they're not required, of course. So if this is overwhelming, just archive that whole list and start fresh. So it's the way that you want it to be. So I really love that. So this is, uh, this is kind of where I'm going to stop talking about Trello for a second, because there are a lot of different things that will help support this process that are other tools that I found value in and so have a lot of doTERRA leaders. Um, one of them, how many of you are using the Essential Connection Co texting scripts? Is anybody doing, doing that or have you even heard of them? Okay, so Essential Connection Co, these four diamonds got together or several diamonds got together and they, they realized that they were having a lot of success in sending their own customers these text message campaigns. And so they decided to make them available for um, other doTERRA leaders as well. And this is an example of one of them, like the Mind and Mood text support class. And the cool thing is that they've just announced that before this used to only be available on a specific texting platform called Project Broadcast, but they're making the scripts and the images available to everyone so you can download them and use them however you want. If you use WhatsApp, you can put them in WhatsApp. If you use uh, hit them up, then you can put them in hit them up. Whatever it is you want to do, these are there for you. And they've come up with the images and the text message that you can actually send to them, which is so great. I know that um, they're in English. So you'll, if you're in an, another, another country, you'll need to translate them. But starting the 18th, you can actually go and sign up for this. So if you go there now, you'll see that it says on the 18th, we're going live because they're doing a big revamp and moving everything to their website. So this is really exciting. The other thing to think about here is that it's not just like texting classes that you send them, but the moment somebody enrolls and you are, you know, you want to get them, get them nurtured, you drop them into your welcome, you rewelcome campaign that they've already created for you. And you, and you drop them in the welcome campaign and the first message might say, yay, we're so excited that you're starting your essential oil journey. Um, go ahead and text back the word welcome. And for the next seven days, you'll get one message a day from, from my team and I um, to help you help support you in your getting started. And so they text back welcome, meaning I want to receive those messages. And then they get the following messages. So they're not just going to spam them and suddenly send them one message a day for the next seven days. And then they get overwhelmed. They still have to text, text back the word associated with that campaign and they have a ton of different campaigns like a laundry swap campaign and all sorts of different things so I just wanted you to know that that is available and that in the chat you'll see the link to it that on the 18th so in four days that will be available for you I personally really like project broadcast as my texting platform of choice um let's see if I can find it um that's what I personally use just for my team um, but that's because I like that you can set up the code words. I don't think in WhatsApp or hit them up, you can actually set up like a, an automated code word that will trigger different things, like trigger different messages. It still might be a manual message. So that's the only thing that I'm, I, you'll kind of have to think about it. Um, let's see, Karen says, how to delete a pending card in Trello when you got the wrong name or concept? Um, so you just click that, those three little dots and click archive. Does that help, Karen? Let me know if it doesn't, but all you have to do is up here, you can click these three little dots and click archive this list or click the pencil and click archive and it disappears. Perfect, awesome. Um, a few other resources that, that you might find really helpful with, um, with your business as you're kind of trying to automate some of these processes. There's 
there's a system that I use. So if you go to my website, and this is where you can also get like the Trello funnels. If you go to meganloy.org, my whole website is built on this system called Wavoto, but they have a free version of it that just has a very simple landing page that's like a sampling funnel that you can give to, you can send to people where they fill out a form that says, yes, I would like a sample. And then you can send a, an automated email to them that says, yay, we're excited that you're interested in a sample and we'll be in touch soon with the details. And it's it's really, really awesome. And so we'll send you the link here in the chat with our with the Vovoto information. But this is another thing that a lot of my clients have found value in, no matter where you're getting started. If you're interested in more, like more than just the, the sample page, then um, my whole business obviously is different than your business. But they partnered with doTERRA and created a, a whole site just for doTERRA people. So that it includes things about essential oils, things about, you know, whatever, but mine will look different than yours, obviously, because my business is different than yours. And I've changed it as such, but it's really beautiful. And I love it. You know, you can go get my Trello funnels here and everything like that, but it's so yours will look different, but I love that they partnered with doTERRA. So a lot of the things that you're wanting to create are already on the system. And um, how does this compare to Enroll Pro? That's a really good question. So are you talking about how does Trello compare to Enroll Pro or how does the website compare to Enroll Pro? The, I think it's the Wovoto. Mm -hmm. um, I listened to some information about that probably about a year ago. I think they were pretty new then. So I'm just wondering, um, I'm wondering, do they do similar things? And I bet they do. They are, are fairly similar. I'd say that it's almost like the, like Wovoto, like it's sort of the, the marriage of the two. It's sort of a marriage between Trello and Enroll Pro. So Enroll Pro sort of looks similar to Trello in the sense that you can kind of see the process people are in and it will send some of the messages out through email or text message. I have had a lot of my customers, they like, some people really like Enroll Pro and some were really stressed out about it. Some liked that it would automate certain certain things, but that it wasn't as customizable or I don't know. I, I think it's fine for and it, my whole goal here is to give you options because whatever it is that you work best with is what you should use. So if you use, if you like Enroll Pro, then stay with it. If um, the other thing that people, I've had people that will buy Enroll Pro and just take the scripts and use them elsewhere, even though they're not like buying, they're not just paying for Enroll Pro one time, but they're still using the monthly subscription of Enroll Pro, but they're just using the templates elsewhere because they don't like the, the system itself. But Wavoto, what Wavoto does is it's not just the website, it's the emails, the courses, the um like a place where you can send like you could not like track your customers in the way that trello does it would sort of be a marriage between the two where trello helps you see where people are but wavoto is the thing that will actually schedule out like the emails and the automation it has the forms so this moment somebody fills out a form you can have an automated email that will go out based on their responses to that form so if they enroll for continuing ed, for example, or enroll for one of your upcoming classes, they fill out a form on your website and then they can get an automated email that says, yay, you're in, here's all the Zoom information. We look forward to seeing you on such and such a date. And then you can set up drip emails that go out each week, reminding them of said calls and say, hey, it's Monday, we're having our call tonight. Don't forget to join us. Here's a link as a reminder. And so it will sort of automate some of those processes for you and have a, a hub where your team can be like a members only page page that if you have all of your recordings, your team calendar, but you only want that part to be accessible to your team and not to everyone publicly, then you can create that as well. So I personally really like Roboto and I think it's supported a lot of my customers that are in doTERRA. So those are just a couple of the, um, yeah, those are just a couple of my favorite resources for you. I know that I've hit you with a lot of information, but um, ultimately I want you, if you don't, if you get overwhelmed, I want you just to type, figure out what it is you want to do to support your prospects, customers, or builders, choose one. And it might take you a full month or so to hash out kind of your process and get everything in place. Um, and then just kind of get started with it. Don't wait forever to, to, move forward just because you're afraid of the, the tech or afraid of all the things that, that would need to happen. Okay, so Rosemary says, is it easy to integrate with Voto and Trello? I have a Voto. Also, can I download the Trello funnels from your website? You can download the Trello funnels from my website. 
Um, if you don't get an email right away, then email my assistant at support at meganloy.org. As far as integrating Trello and Waboto, there's not necessarily like a direct integration between the two. Most people will use them in tandem where you can kind of see what people need in Trello, and then you're automating like the, you're sending the actual emails and things through, or the newsletters or the, having the courses in your actual Waboto account. So that they're not really, they serve two different functions is how I would explain that. Okay, perfect. Uh, yep, all right, perfect. Thank you, Jennifer, for putting all those links in there. Are there any other questions I can help answer before we jump off today? Yeah, go ahead, Jennifer. Um, I had a quick question. Um, so I was trying to follow you on the Trello at, with your mm -hmm. um, program here. So when you put in someone and you have them move to the next um, template boards, um, Compared to, like, uh, say Amanda, you had you moved her over. Um, she still has like the pre-enrollment, the post-enrollment. Is it better to add a new client so that they have the potential builders checklist on it? So it's funny you say that. I'm actually in the process of merging all of the the templates from the prospect, customer, and builder onto one template. So no matter where you move them, it will still have all of it populated. It will be incredibly long though, which is why originally I didn't do that because you might have a forever customer and then like six different sections of builder stuff that you don't really need. And so I'm in the process of combining all of those right now because I know that a lot of people have been requesting that. Um, but in the meantime, if you get ahead of me and you want to do that yourself, you're welcome to, but yeah, good question. Perfect. Any other questions that I can help with? Awesome. Well, feel free to reach out to me. Wait. Wait. Oh, well. I'm sorry, Megan. I do have a question following up on that one. If you're yeah. up on the board, I've been using your, your Trello templates for a little while. I'm still dizzy. Um, if you update that, is that going to pop into the board I'm using? No, it will not. But what it, you can do is that whenever I, I say send out the email that says, hey, I've updated the boards, then you can actually go, um, you can you can open up the, the new template, like the updated template, and then move my card to your board, if that makes sense. And so you can move it and that would now be your new customer template. It wouldn't change all the existing people you have in your boards, but it would you right. could update that existing like template card. Okay, fabulous. Thank you so much. Yeah, good question. Um, let's see, Nicole, uh, Nicole says, I learned something every time I listen to you teach. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> um, Jennifer, yeah. Yeah, I have one more question. Um, just out of curiosity, because when I was, I was actually starting to learn ClickUp and trying to understand that program, and then everybody was telling me to check you out on this program. And so I downloaded all this. Um, and then this when, you, when you started, you started on with a ClickUp uh -huh. board. So uh -huh. I'm thinking you use both. <laughs> Yes. And so what I, so it's interesting because again, the whole, the whole idea here is that I have some people who, who hate ClickUp and love Trello and who hate Trello and love ClickUp. So I personally have had been using Trello for several, for several years. And then I moved over to ClickUp the last like several months because I actually have a team of five different people. I'm supporting 130 clients plus the, each of their assistants, plus uh, like all these different. So I have a, a bigger process that I'm trying to manage. Manage. And so what, but if you like ClickUp, all you have to do, and I'll show you this really quick, because I actually do love ClickUp and, and I think you just need to find a system that works for you, but you can put these funnels in ClickUp. And so everything I've created can be easily dropped into ClickUp. And it's because there's an import option. So let me show you what that looks like on my ClickUp just really, really quick, because it's so easy. It's like a three-step thing. Okay. I just want to show, I'm trying to pull up a board that I can actually show you publicly. <laughs> Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Go back to my red screen too. Okay. So this is my actual social media planning, um, planning board, but what all you have to do, let's say that you wanted to bring your templates in here. You would click this little plus plus button, click import, click Trello, and then follow the steps and say, yes, I want to do Trello. And then it would say, which boards do you want to bring in Trello? And you would click on them and then you get a little notification that says, yay, they're in. And that's it. <laughs> and oh, and the cool thing with, with ClickUp is that you can see it in a board view like you do in 
in Trello or a list view. So with me and my projects, like the tasks that I'm assigning to my team, I like to see it in list view. But for what you're trying to do, I like being able to drag them along in a board. Um, I also like being able to see it in a calendar view and click up. There is a free version of click up as well, but the, um, just like, yes, yeah. So it's just up to you, like whatever you want to do. I know that some of my non-techie people have been really overwhelmed with ClickUp, but other like type A people like me have been like, this is a godsend. And so it really is up to you on what you want to use. Perfect. Great question. Okay. Any other? Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Are there any other questions before we close today? Oh, good. I'm so happy to hear that, Rosemary. Awesome. Well, I hope you all have a lovely day and um, we'll be in touch. If you need to reach out to me, support at meganloyd.org or you can reach me at meganloyd.org. If you're interested in having me help you with your funnels, you can also schedule a time on my, my website. If you're interested in getting an assistant, I also do that as well. I have a full training program where I've trained assistants to support doTERRA leaders specifically. And so that is also an option for you as well. I do coaching calls. Um, I'm just here to help you and to serve you. So I hope you have a lovely weekend and we'll talk to you soon. Bye everybody.